Guess who appears to be feeling a lot better this morning? This guy right here. He had a great walk. He took all of his medicine. He slept through the night. Didn't hear a single yelp or cry out. Things seem to be improving. I just ran to the bodega to pick up some drinks and I found these black truffle flavored potato chips. Uh, obviously, <laughs> this is not sponsored as if, but I thought, let's see, let's see if they really taste like truffles. It smells like truffles. doesn't taste anything like truffles. I'm trying to think of what it actually tastes like, but it's not truffles. Mm -mm. No, I just figured out what it tastes like. It tastes like regret. Hey, 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 happy Tuesday. Ace is doing so much better. He's uh, eating all of his food, taking all of his medicine, wants to go out for walks. So he's, he's doing extremely well. I'm very, very happy on that. Um, Jamaica Kincaid's book, Among Flowers, is a one star from me. It's the first of the year. But the good news is I think the next book that I started is going to be my first five star of the year. I am loving it. So I'm about halfway through and I will report back soon. I'm reading The Glutton right now and I am loving it. I am loving it. It's making up for that Jamaica Kincaid book, which I hated, hated. Hey, hey, it's Wednesday, and if it's beginning to feel like Groundhog Day, I'm right there with you. Uh, tonight I'm going to go see Justin Vivian Bond at Lincoln Center, so that'll kind of uh, switch things up a bit. But yeah, it's been very much rinse and repeat this week, primarily taking care of Ace, and um, he's still doing well, thank goodness. quick update. I finished reading The Glutton and I absolutely loved it. Um, it came very close to being a five-star read. Very close. Uh, I just didn't feel like the ending, it didn't quite land, but I would say it's like a 4.5 or a 4.8. It's It was a really great book. I have started Spring by Allie Smith. Um... Today, primarily, I have just been doing a lot of adulting, decluttering, cleaning up. Uh, I did a Target run, that sort of thing. So just getting my life in order. Well, happy Friday. I have to say this has been a very uneventful week. I don't know what this video is going to be. What, a whole lot of nothing. Ace is coming down off the meds. Uh, he had his last dose of the anti-inflammatory yesterday. And so now I'm going to start weaning him off the pain meds. And uh, that's really the only thing left.
quick update, I was feeling bougie, so I thought I would cut some limes to put in my Diet Coke, ooh la la, and I nearly cut my finger off, so that just happened. Happy Saturday. Turned out to be a beautiful day today. Ace is in a good mood. He wanted to go on a walk, so we're kind of going on an extended walk here. <laughs> we're taking our time. The big news of the day is there was a gang of Girl Scouts on the corner, and so now I have boxes of Girl Scout cookies, finally. It's cookie time. These are my absolute favorites, the tag along. Well, they describe them as a crispy cookie layered with peanut butter and covered with the chocolatey coating. Mmm. <gasps> okay, a little self-control. We're only gonna have two. Not for you, Ace, you'll get sick. Sorry, buddy, it has chocolate in it. I would share it if it didn't have chocolate. Um, let's do a reading update. Because I feel like I've really let you all down with this video this week. I apologize, there really wasn't much to show. I finished A.K. Blakemore's The Glutton, and I know I've said it a gazillion times, but I really do like this book. Um, it is about a real life character. I had no idea when I read the book. I would be shocked if this wasn't adapted as a film. Like that was my immediate thought when I started reading it. It's like, oh my God, this has got to be turned into a movie. Something about this book, it might've just been like the time period or, or, or whatever, but something reminded me of the book Perfume. If you enjoyed that book, um, this has a similar vibe. At least it did to me. But yeah, this is definitely a new favorite. When I finished that book, I started Allie Smith's Spring, which is the third book in her seasonal quartet. And um, I'm not that far into it. I'm only on page 47, but so far this has been the most straightforward kind of narrative um, out of the books that I've read. And then I unexpectedly received a notice from my library telling me one of the books that I put on hold came in and that was Mona of the Manor, which is supposedly the final book in the Tales of the City book series, which I read last year. These are all really quick reads, so I plan on knocking this one out today and then going back to spring. So that's what's going on on the reading front. And um, yeah, hopefully, hopefully things will pick up next week because I know this one was not very exciting and I apologize, but at least it'll be a short video.